Good afternoon, Year 3. It's Mrs Applewhite here. Uh, it's nearly the weekend. We nearly made it. Well done for getting this far. Well done for all of your amazing efforts and um, all of the participation you've given us this week with your home learning. Um, we really appreciate you sending us your pictures and seeing what you've been up to. Um, and we're just all really, really proud of you. So we're going to finish off, round off the week with some times tables. Um, we're going to be doing times tables every Friday at this time, Friday afternoon. So quite a nice sort of chilled way to round off the week. Um, our times table sessions will always involve some form of chanting. So basically saying the times tables out loud, because that's one of the best ways that we, we kind of have to learn them. There will be some sort of a game to do together. And then there will be an independent activity, just something small for you to have a go at and um, to try and help you with your times table understanding. So we will be moving on to the four times tables shortly in the next few weeks. But we are going to recap the three times tables because we started them last term and we just want to make sure that they're really, really um, sort of solid in our heads. So I've just popped these here um, because you probably recognize this. We use multiplication squares at school quite a lot. Um, so this is our three times table here. So going down here and going across there, although this one doesn't go up to 12 times, which obviously we, we do. Um, so we've got them written out here as well. Uh, so we've got uh, up from one times three, only up to 12 times three. Sometimes you're all very keen and you go right up to 57 times three. <laughs> We don't need to, we just need you to go up to 12 times, okay? So let's make a start by recapping the threes and having a chant together. So we're going to do it together out loud. So um, I can't hear you, obviously, um, but I want to make sure that you're doing it nice and loud. So here we go. One times three is three. Two times three is six. Three times three is nine. Four times three is twelve. 5 times 3 is 15, 6 times 3 is 18, 7 times 3 is 21, 8 times 3 is 24, 9 times 3 is 27, 10 times 3 is 30, 11 times 3 is 33, 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, well done. Let's say them again. This time we're just going to go straight through from 3 up to a 36 without saying these. So here we go. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. Excellent. So those are your three times tables up to 12 times 3. Now for our quick game. We've played this in, in class before and you quite enjoyed it. There is an imposter among us. So I've got six calculations in front of me. They are all something times three, because we're doing a three times table. Some of them are right, some of them are wrong. You need to pause this video until you figure out the ones that are wrong. I'm not going to tell you how many there are. And then you're going to press play and we'll find out the answers together. Go. Right, let's see if we can find these answers together then. So I can tell you that the imposters are this one here. 5 times 3 is not 16, but 5 times 3 is 15. Very hard to write with a trackpad. Um, the other imposter, there might be more than one, one of them is this one here. 11 times 3 is not 32, but it is 33. And there is one more. Which one do you think it is? I can tell you. It's this one here. 9 times 3 is not 29. 9 times 3 is 27. Very well done if you got those right. Now, for your activity, this is your independent activity. Um, you're going to be making your own flashcards. Now, we have done a little bit of this in school before, but if you're unsure about what a flashcard is, it's basically what these look like here. Um, so you'll have uh, the calculation on the front. So one times three, two times three, three times three, all up to 12 times three. And on the back of that piece of paper or card will be the answer. So they're really, really good for quick practice. So if you've just got a couple of minutes before you go to bed, not that I'm saying you probably will do this before you go to bed, but you know what I'm saying? If you've just got a couple of minutes, it's a really quick way to keep practicing your times tables. And it's quite fun as well. If you do it with someone else, you can kind of challenge someone else to do it or you can do it as a part of a game or, or keep score and things like that. 
So I want you to make your own set of flashcards for the three times table from one times three equals three up to 12 times three equals 36. Now, some of you might um, have fancy card or something that you want to do it on, which is fine. Or you can just do it on normal paper. OK, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be amazing. You might want to colour them in and make them look great, but you don't have to. OK, the most important thing is, is that you just have them there. So you're going to make your own set and then you're going to have a little bit of a practice with them. If that seems a little bit easy for you, if you're really, really confident with your threes for an extra challenge, I want you to make those. But I also want you to make division facts as well. So you won't end up with 12 cards, you'll end up with 24 because you'll have the division facts. For example, 36 divided by 3 equals 12. And you'll go all the way down to 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So if you want that extra challenge, please, please do that because the division facts are really important to know as well. But the most important ones that I want you to have done are the 12 times table flashcards. So that is your activity. This is where the video is going to end shortly because you're going to go off, you're going to make your flashcards and then you can practice with them and you can keep hold of them and you can practice with them, you know, in the coming weeks, months until you completely know your three times table because that is the best way to learn your times tables is to just practice, practice, practice over and over and over again. I hope you enjoyed this short video today, year three. And once again, well done for all of your work and your efforts and your commitment this week. Um, you know, we're so proud of you and we do miss you very, very much. So well done for sending us your work. I will see you next week at some point. Um, and until then, stay safe. Have a good weekend. Bye.